My name is Peter. I'm a superhero now. I'm strong and confident, but it hasn't been like that for a long time. Yes, I went through a lot of obstacles. Let me tell you about them. <laughs> I had a happy childhood. Everything went well. Good education, loving parents. I had everything I needed to grow up with dreams. You can see on my drawing how happy I was. When I got graduate, I was really excited because I felt like I could finally show to the world all I was capable of, and I was ready to make a significant change uh, in the society. I thought so. What a shock when I realized that it was not going to be so easy to enter in the job market. Indeed, I got rejected quite a few times. Students don't know that they are not prepared to face it. We are all told that going to the university will buy our ticket for a career. So why? Why I'm not getting a job? I work hard at university. I got good marks. I was always checking uh, to job applications. So why I'm still in this situation looking for a job? Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I start to feel depressed and unable to anything. I was even applying for a student job at the McDonald's, feeling I didn't deserve a good job. The strong person I thought I was became a sad job seeker. Then I, then I understood that I was not the only one uh, experiencing such obstacles. We are currently millions of graduates struggling to get uh, a good job. I start to talk about it around me with friends who were in the same situation. The shame to be a job seeker start to disappear. And hope returned like an old friend. A new me came to the world. Energy came back too. Willingness of fighting made me wake up and open my eyes. I refocus on good things and great futures. My ego was built up in the mirror. Maybe I was not really objective by myself, but it is not important, really. I, I understood I really needed to value myself before re-entering in the arena. It is not as easy as you can think. I wanted to help my fellows so they don't experience the same thing. I wanted to give them what I strongly lack, a training, a preparation, to what I really thought as a new society challenge. I looked around youth associations, career events, and then I found this, the Youth Future event here in my city. What a, what a discovery. I heard it from a friend, and then I wanted to see it by myself. HR professionals working as volunteers to help young people like me to get the job with tips, advices, coaching, CV assessments. Speakers from, from big companies sharing their experiences as recruiters, teaching us what really matters in our search and interviews. I attended the whole day and I was not disappointed. I got the, the occasion of the networking moment, opportunity. Indeed, I could talk to a recruiter from Neto, for example. Everything was well organized in order to have people exchanging good contacts and good con in good conditions. This was also the occasion to know more about. But who are they? Who are those people who have understood so well what we as young people need? I saw some of them wearing t-shirts and badges, but they were so young, maybe a bit older than me. I thought maybe I could help them and improve the current situation. The more the merrier, isn't it? Well, I have met them. A bunch of heroes, I'm telling you. Dynamic entrepreneurs, motivating young professionals, anonymous active citizens working for their fellows as volunteers in their free time. I was amazed by such energy in their group. 
I wanted to know more about the association, so one day I joined them in the meeting room in the back of a brasserie. GCI2, or Junior Chamber International, the heart of Europe. That's their name, the banner with which they fight for youth unemployment. That's the flag they raise to make a positive impact on society. Worldwide Association, Brussels chapter. They identify contemporary issues and find solutions. Well, it sounds like a hero mission, doesn't it? The Youth Future event took place in already five times in Brussels. It also took place in Riga, in Opole, in Ghent, and in London. More are coming and are being organized as we speak now. This is the Your Future campaign. When I realized the European dimension of those actions, I wanted to be part of it. I wanted to become a hero for Europe, just like them. These people believe everything is, is possible. What you can imagine is real. They turn dreams into plans. They take actions for their visions. GCI welcomes you. This platform gives you opportunities to build your own experience. It shares values and uh, ambitions. I kept acting for those GCI projects, and I found a good job. I met very inspiring new people. I hope one day I can also become an example to those young people searching for new challenges. I wish you to find your challenges that make you feel stronger than what you think you are, because clearly sky is not the limit. Here is my final conclusion to my story. Here is what I remember, something I almost forgot when, when I started to drop my dreams. I hope to never forget it again. I'm Peter, and I'm an anonymous hero. <laughs>